What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. Back with another game caught news update. Today, we are doing a game review, a opponent preview of the Eastern Illinois Panthers, who went 0-1 yesterday against the Indiana State Sycamores. I'm probably saying their name wrong, but it's okay. But before I go any further, here's what I need you to do. One of three things. One, like the video. Like, 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 like. Like the video, helps out a ton. Two, if you haven't subscribed yet, most of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Your boy is trying to get 5,000 subs before the end of the year, and I need your help. Subscribe to the channel. Also, hit notification bell. Notification bell, like you know every time I drop a video. And three, share the video. It helps out a ton. So, yesterday, like I said before, Eastern Illinois Panthers went down. I watched the game. Um, I was working on some stuff, and I saw the last play when it was like fourth and like twelve or whatever inside their own end zone uh, because of a holding penalty, and the quarterback was about to get sacked, threw the ball out of the end zone, and it ended up being a uh, safety because they called intentional grounding. Man, I, I'm a what? Here's what I'm gonna do first, man. I'm gonna read the Yahoo story on the game preview. I'm going to give you some stats. I'm going to give you my ultimate opinion about this situation. Uh, so, the this is the Yahoo Sports uh, prediction game preview. So, it says that uh, why Eastern Illinois will win. Okay. So, so they, they give you both spectrums for this. So, here's Yahoo's uh, reasoning why Eastern Illinois will win. So the Panthers might have lost their week zero opener against any other state, but they at least got a little experience. They fought back late, but ended up losing 26-21 because of three turnovers. You heard that, guys, three turnovers. Obviously, that's part of the deal. But take away the three mistakes, and Eastern Illinois pulls it off thanks to the defense that held the Sycamores to 245 yards. The Panthers did not allow much of anything through the air. The passing game worked, and they have to keep bombing away against the game caught defense because dot, 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 dot. Here is why they're saying that the game caught should win. East Illinois won't be able to run against South Carolina's defensive front. They might be a bit of an overhaul being done under the new coaching staff, but that line has the boat and rotation to hold up without a problem. Be stunned if the Panthers are anywhere close to three yards per carry. Indiana State averaged close to five yards per carry against EIUD. Granted, a bulk of their production came in one big dash. The South Carolina rotation of running backs will go off. They need to because da 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 da. What's going to happen? This is all about South Carolina's passing game. Winning this won't be a problem. The game cost line will take over, but can the old throw without Luke Doty around the projected starter is out with the banged up foot and it could be a bit before he comes back this there this then Eastern there's this then Eastern Illinois and then comes the SEC open against Georgia Jason Brown will likely get the first start in the deep ground of backup options but it will be a rotation of backs Kevin Harris and Marshawn Lord that put this away after a few drives so, here's some stats. I'm going to do some team stats. So, the first, we're going to do passing. The um, Actually, East Illinois had more yards in the, in the passing game, 253 versus Indiana State's 87. But, like I said, the quarterback threw for two interceptions. Rushing, uh, they had 125 rushing with uh, Indiana State having 158 yards. Penalties about the same. Turnovers was three. One lost fumble. Two interceptions. And and like I said before, leading receiver had a hundred uh, buck sixteen. Leading rusher for Indiana State. Not Indiana State. Excuse me. Eastern Illinois. Um, fifty seven yards. Oh yeah, I was right. I was right. And uh, two hundred fifty three yards from the quarterback. And Indiana State, in perspective, before I give you my opinion, they was a 5-17 and 17 in 2019. They did not play a 2020 season due to the pandemic. So, what does this look like, man? 
Look here. I said this before and I said this again. We're going to beat Eastern Illinois. I don't see how we will lose to this team. It's not a very great team, to say the least. Uh, the way they played against somebody of their same caliber, they made a lot of mistakes. They should have won this game. They should have won this game, but mistakes. Like, I know we're going to be able to throw the ball. I know we'll be able to throw the ball. It's just a matter of, I bet mean, I meant to say, I know we're going to be able to run the ball. It's the matter of throwing the ball and throwing it consistently. Against this team, I don't see no problems. Like I said before, I don't see how you basically get more yards than the team. They 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 out yarded the team by a hundred yards and lost the game by five. So this is not a very good team. I look for like I I, I everybody's gonna eat uh Saturday, all the back. So you're gonna see Marshawn Lloyd. You're going to see Kevin Harris if he's healthy. And then you're going to see Z White, Juju McDowell. You're going to see all of them coming in the game. I think it'll be an early game for Jason Brown. They're going to have uh, looks from uh, Zeb. Zeb. Um, they're going to have looks from um, other people. So I, I think it's a game where our starters play by the first half. I think that, I mean, by yeah, after the second half, I think that we'll be looking at a lot of backups to see. Who do we have? Because I don't see a problem against Eastern Illinois. I also don't see an issue against East Carolina. I think we can beat East Carolina. I think that we go to Georgia 2-0. But here's what I need you to do. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Did you watch the Eastern Illinois game? Um, were you impressed with the Panthers? And they 243 yards passing. They're 125 yards rushing against the team. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Murray, back with another game caught news update. And this is the preview. I predict, but could. Uh, a whooping. Say the drama for your mama. Because this is probably going to be a fun game. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Um, excited to see. Our Gamecocks next Saturday at Williams Price Stadium. The wait is over full capacity. Let me know what you think about the comment section below. But uh, it's next time, people.